Hi, I'm Lynn Bridgeford from Aether Bios, and today in our five minute series on coaching and mental health, I'm going to be talking about psychometric testing. So I've been coaching throughout my life in various roles in the corporate IT world, as a dance teacher, as a yoga teacher, as an osteopath, and many different ways. I've always had a loathing of psychometric testing. I don't like answering questions that are this or that because I like a bit of a grey area so they can wind me up a bit. I had a really interesting experience recently that changed my thinking and my experience of psychometric testing and looking at the Myers-Briggs. That's a mother-daughter team, Kath Briggs and Isabel Myers, and their study has undergone about 30 years of research and is well recognized as a tool for understanding people's traits, not exactly putting you in a pigeonhole, but understanding the traits, because we're all a mixture of one thing and another and tend a little bit more to one thing than another that helps us understand how we deal with situations and how we deal with other people. It's not meant to be used for recruiting and should certainly be used sensitively, so not to pick on people because of a certain trait, more to bring the best out of people. I recently took part in this test online and I kept wanting to give up because the yes no answers didn't seem to work for me. So I did what I could and it wasn't enough answers to qualify to finish the test. So I'd have to do a lot of self-talk with myself to think, okay, give myself in different situations. What situation am I dealing with this in? How would it be in another situation? and it wound me up completely. However, after lots of self-talk and lots of double passes through, I got through it. And before I got the results, I did an exercise with a teacher of mine, <laughs> Melody Cheel from Gee Whiz, and we went through the different traits. And I will cover some of the traits of each section in a moment, just to give a little bit of a brief outline. But the really interesting thing was I did my normal I chose half of this and a quarter of that and three quarters of this to get to my answers. I thought I'm going to do this the way that feels good for me and I worked out based on the characteristics what I felt I was on this, uh, this psychometric test. The interesting thing was it was exactly what came up on the computerized test. <laughs> I was completely blown away and thought there must be something in it because I'd worked it out as that, and so did the computer that I didn't like the tests. The four different categories that are looked at were either on extroversion or introversion, sensing or intuition, thinking or feeling, or judging and perceiving. So they're not what the words mean. Someone who's more in extroversion would go outside to recuperate and to regenerate and get inspiration. Somebody who's an introvert would go inside for that regeneration. An extrovert might be thinking out loud and talk through a problem, whereas an introvert would be thinking before they speak and they would think their way through a problem. Someone who is in sensing is more interested in details, whereas an intuition person is not just about that inner tuition. They like the big picture. They like to gain insight from a big picture, whereas the sensing person likes to value the practicality, to observe the specifics and remember them. Whereas the intuition person sees the patterns. They trust their inspiration and the sensing person trusts their experience. Neither of these are good or bad and we all have a mixture of them and we can see where they might be useful to draw on people's strengths to work with other people's strengths to get the best out of a team in an organisation. A thinking person is guided by their logic and a feeling person is guided by their values and their convictions. A thinking person will look for a flaw in the logic whereas a feeling person will be looking for shared values. A thinking person is going to be consistent with how they deal with people whereas a feeling person is going to treat each person individually thinking person will be more likely to offer constructive criticism, whereas a feeling person will offer support and, and encouragement. With judging and perceiving, a person in judging enjoys closure and a person in perceiving likes to keep things open. So a person in judging enjoys the planning process, a person in perceiving enjoys the process. A person in judging will trust their experience 
and a person in perceiving will trust their inspiration. So a judging person likes things settled and done and a perceiving person likes to take in new info. So this is just a few bits that I learned while I was studying this, the difference of extroversion, introversion, sensing, intuition, thinking, feeling, judging, perceiving. So it doesn't mean we're an introvert or an extrovert. It's where we go inside ourselves to get things done. And like I say, there will be a bit of all of it in all of us. So I found it quite interesting to find out that what I considered my extended answer was the same as what the computer found with the ones that I found really challenging to do. What do you think about psychometric testing and how would you use it in your life and in the workplace in a positive, encouraging way? Thank you so much.